Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can analyze Likert scale using principal components analysis or exploratory factor analysis. So for a detailed video, kindly check the description box. So this video is going to be brief. We have this questionnaire and it is in Word document. We want to group different items and see to what extent the form a construct to do this we go to analyze and then we go to dimension reduction and then factor so i can just trace it so i can just uh, again include the different items the multiple items of the uh, Likert scale move them to the variables box go to descriptives take the chemo or the kaiser mir alkin test of sampling adequacy and bartlett's test of sphericity and determinants maybe even significant level or significance levels click continue for the extraction i'm just going to keep the principal components and for the display i take the in rotated factor and choose the screen plot and keep the eigenvalue greater than one click continue then for the uh, rotation method uh, we have the uh, oblique and the orthogonal so we go for the very max as one of the uh, most common technique of the uh, factor rotation okay so click continue and then for the scores this is very important because we are just going to create new variables at the end of the uh, spaces file so we can just save as variables and then regression and we keep regression click continue so i already this I did this suppose that uh, i will show it to you later so but you need to choose it and then for the options again you click sort by size and suppress small coefficients greater than 30 so this is how you can just go about it click continue and click ok so what will happen is uh, we have this output so we have the chemo and Bartlett's test of sphericity that is great and it is statistically significant you see here the coefficient is high and another table, uh, table that concerns us is the total variance explained. You see that there are seven factors that explain 69% of the variance. We have the screen plot that visualizes the seven factors, seven components. And then we have the rotated component matrix that shows those items that are grouped within the uh, seven factors each. All right. So what concerns us is that we can just create a composite score of these items, but we cannot do this manually using the transform compute variable, but we can just do this uh, via the, the, if you remember the scores and you will find the variables are already created at the end of the questionnaire in the variable view. So but why? Because during the analysis, we did what we, we just, choose scores and we click save them as variables and click continue so this is like the major trick i want to show you in this tutorial uh, if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below see you in another tutorial bye for now